Hey guys, Gabe here, that guy Breadstick, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Last episode, we completed the grass trial of the Alola region, and today what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to go into the, um, research center. Not the Aether Foundation, the, um, place where Kakubi's wife works at. But, go Nebby, use, you Splash! Nebby is Splash? Damn. <laughs> I was just acting like I was Breadstick. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that pained me just as much as if I was the one being hurt. But if I could become as strong as How and Breadstick are, then maybe things would be different. And yep. Where you waddling, man? Oh. Oh, um, Breadstick, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. Th there's a library laboratory here that studies the dimensions did you know and the professor is waiting to meet you how how were your trials it must be quite trying to do three in a row there was no problem goodness really it was it wasn't any trouble for you t to track or to tackle all three of akali island's trials i suppose that explains it the reason you look so content and just stood by magnemite there i mean all right i guess we're gonna head inside so what is this place actually called? The Dimensional Research Lab. So yeah, it is a research lab. It's just not the Aether Foundation. Oh, wait. There's actually a totem sticker. And there's a little passageway over here that gives us a big mushroom. Like I needed that. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, Go through here. And you're going to the Dimensional research lab anyone could tell you that after all go upstairs i don't even know why i touched him but we out here or talk talk to him touch that okay i'm gonna drop that before we that before that sounds even more weird than it already is all right hey there honey oh hi this here's professor bartman she runs the dimensional research lab yeah and she's also my wife. You're a breadstick, right? Lily told me all about you. Said She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach, Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm? No how today? How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. You really think so? Wahoo! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I've seen you. Anywho, Bre I brought Breadstick here because I wanted to tell him about some sort of mystical phenomenon here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mystery mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you got to meet the Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that the rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think that there are maybe a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon airing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex of the ex ex existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went... Way beyond that, they were called Ultra Beast, and they were also feared. If the stories are to be believed, the Guardian deities to the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is just true. But I would be very happy if I could f somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimension disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between pe Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on bookshelves in this lab. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this again. I don't like doing this. Alright, there's a red book right here, which didn't even really help, but okay. And I got a totem sticker. Nice. Alright. Um... Okay. I like how it's Dialga, Pal uh, no, Palkia, Giratina, and then Bronzong. Like, what the fuck? Alright. 
So... We've recorded several known re relationships between Pokemon of different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in the lab. Okay, I don't really care. I guess we have to talk to Lily. I forgot about that. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to keep... To come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lazy along... The I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kakui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him... And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me to try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Better than your other mother. Boom, roasted. Alright. Alright, I don't really care about that, so I bet Hao is going to be like, I want to battle you. Maybe not. Maybe I'm... How about that, Breadstick? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of Kakali Trials. Woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest, baddest of the trial of them all here on Akale, the Grand Trial. Good luck! Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel into in Con Connie Connie City. I still have some things I wanted to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. Being able to go more places really makes it feel like you're going along with your partner, Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. Alright. But there is something that I want to do this episode before, I think, we're, while we make our way over to Coney Coney City. Because, something that bugs me about, um, about this, or something that bugs me is not having all the positions on the map filled out. So that's probably what I'm going to do, and as we look up into the sky... An ultra wormhole appears. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Hey, breadstick! So you made it clear. I mean, you made it through all three child captain trails, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, let's see, from here. It's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to make walk past it, though. So keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malasana time for me. Alright, like I said, anyways, let's explore Diglett Tunnel for now. Alright, I bet you, I bet you it's this way. Ooh, maybe not. It's actually down here. But have I gone this way? I don't think I have. What's up here? Oh, this is Route 6. I don't want to be at Route 6. Um. So we're gonna Charizard glide there. Um. So I want to actually Tauros charge over here so I can... Oh. Uh, Sorry, but my Stoutland is a real tough, thorough kind, and likes to uncover every last st So I guess we can't go to the Grand Resort, probably until after we do all that other stuff. But, like I said before, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go... We still have, like, this area, and this, so... The Hano Beach is probably where we're going to have to take off on, um... The place, but then we'll have to, have to go through Route 9 to get to Kony Kony City... But, like I said, um, I actually want to go back to Melee Melee Island so that I can uncover these areas. Because I think that's probably a good idea. Um, I don't know where the best place of action is to get into that water, but we're going to find out. Alright. I don't think it was this place, though. Alright. Um, yeah. I don't think it was this place. But let's go ahead and ride off on our Oros over here. This way. See, how do we get down? Oh, wait. Actually, this might have actually worked. Hold on. Alright, I'm going to speed up so then we can... I just kind of want to walk over there to register it. But I don't really want to do anything else with it. See, how do we get over there? Alright. Let's see. I just want the map, man. Alright. So, why? Alright, I'm gonna unfreeze so I can check. So, there's gotta be some... Like, how do we get here? I don't know, man. Alright. You know what? I'll worry about it off camera. Let's go ahead and fly back over to... um. 
I think it's actually probably a better idea if we go to Kale Island, go here, and then fly down. And not fly down, but run through the Diglett Tunnel. Which I think is going to take us a little bit. But we're going to just try our best to get over there. Um, uh, But yeah. Let's go this way. We got Olivia here, who is going to probably be like, hmm, oh, breadstick, it wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with the Pokemon called Diglett, and they are really getting out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through here. So how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, breadstick. Nice work. I see you've even passed Molo's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down too. If you're a if you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of the city, you'll find Kony Kony City. That's where my st shop is. I'll see you there. All right. And this is what I don't like. So I kind of want to grab some repels. But let's see. Do I have any? Ugh. I don't have any repels. That's fun. So, I will be right back as I go grab some repels. Because this is going to be a hell to go through. So, I'll be right back. And we are back. So, now we're going to make our way... Oh, forgot to spray those handy dandy repels. So, let's go ahead and fast forward so I can get through this. And then we're going to go to the bag. Where's my repels? There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we can keep moving. Because I think that's probably going to be good for us in this cave. Because it seems like that is a lot of what's going to happen. I also do need to switch Stefano to the front. And I might speed up through a lot of this cave. Because I just kind of want to get through it, man. Um, Like, again, there's a lot of trainers in here, obviously. But it might be a good idea to just get through it. Alright. See, like, if we can do that, then... Ooh, what's... Oh, that's just the ledge. I was like, what is this? But... Alright. There we go. Firestone. Not like it's needed, but... Ooh. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against the Diggle Cave. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We were to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like th Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in the cave getting so riled up and bringing them all up to surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take out- Okay, I don't give a fuck about Diglett. You can leave. Alright. Hyper Potion. I didn't even know there was an item there. I was just kind of clicking, man. <laughs> to get an item there, I think that's actually kind of funny, though. Alright, perfect. Let's keep moving. Ah, no way. Just one would think we're about to heat up, yo. I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diglett use peed up? I'm so mad that I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad, because you're... You were the fool who was dumb enough to be right here. Breadstick! Ah, uh, I was wondering... Who you, who you were playing around without me. Playing around with without me. And it's Team Skull. You you want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Alright. So I guess we're double battling this. He's got an Eevee, apparently. Which is actually kind of interesting. But I'm gonna go ahead and... Why are you quick attacking the Slandit, man? I just wanted to defeat the Slandit. But we out here. Probably could have Icy Wind both of them. But that was easy. Alright. Yo, step off! Enough with the beating up, yo! We might not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we still hard as bone out here. See, see on the flip side? Man, Breadstick, when I fight with you, it's even like Pokemon feel more at ease. You're some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just got to give you something. Max Ether. Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to get some more fun with those Diglets. See ya! Alright. So. There we go. I don't have the Machamp to push me, so there's not much I can do about that. So I'm gonna do a Bubble Beam here. Good shit. Actually, yeah, let's grab Boomerang real quick. Instead of Leer, probably a better choice. Um, Diglip, I'll keep you out. Stefano. Alright. 
Let's keep moving. And we are out of the cave. Oh, a young tra trainer. Trial going trainer, are you? Looker is my name. I travel in the world in many lands, so I visit for my own private reasons. Alola is a nice place and so very peaceful. Most ideal for a vacancy. I was just in a I was just in Kone Kone City when I got a most unusual stone at Miss Olivia's shop. No one here is as terrible as to try to create a new world or liberate all Pokemon from their trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. Those concerns I have about those reported sightings of infamous Pokemon Mafia. Ah, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone if you forgive my rudeness. I bought theory without thinking. Do you have a good adventure? My trial going, young friend. Alright. So it seems like we got some more Pokemon that we're going to have to fight. So let's go ahead and do a bubble beam. Oh. I'm glad we missed that attack, man. That was straight luck by me. Alright. Probably should switch out here, actually. Chincha. Oh. Def most definitely not. I'm going to die by using an... I see wind over and over again, but I guess I used the bubble beam and it somehow worked. I wanted to use a disarming voice, but there we go. Um, tentacle, let's switch out to Tesla. I didn't want a thunder wave, but we out here, I guess. Charge beam. There we go. Nice, alright. Let's grab this Pokeball. I want to actually go this way, if I can. Fight some more trainers. Again, I'm just trying to make the series a little easier on us. Oop, no. I need I need my repels, man. There we go. Yeah, I want to fight you, you youngster. I think his name is Preschooler in this, but I still call him a youngster because he basically is a youngster to me. Ludian. I missed, but we out here. Perfect. Okay, I do need to heal up, though. Like, your boy is kind of struggling out here. Alright. I hate I hate that noise, though, whenever it stops being fast. Alright. Like, when the, like, there's no smooth transition between not being fast and being fast, you know? And it kind of frustrates me. Oh, that's different for a fro. Um, let's go ahead and Z-Power Hydro Vortex. And I flinched. Damn. Alright, Boomerang. That was not as good as I thought it was going to be. Bone Club. And that did not work. I'm going to have Boomerang. Oh, no, I missed. And I flinched. Damn, is this Furfo really going to get me? Charge Beam. Good hit. And yeah, we're... Bro. Why you got a full restore, man? Alright, Charge Beam. Perfect. Oh, you still have another Pokemon. Fuck. Alright, but I do... I do got Magnet Bomb. I got a mirror shot. There we go. Oh my god. That is not good. Alright. Let me unfreeze so I can revive t my two dead Pokemon men. I played that really poorly. Like, really, really poorly. Oh my god. Alright. There we go. I just realized Tesla doesn't have a lot of HP for being level 27. Not a fuck, but it's fine. It's the gangster class that basically looks like Team School, but it's not Team School because I'm gonna icy when their face is off. I don't know. I kind of just ramble on whenever I play this game sometimes. It comes to bite me in the ass. Alright. So again, I know that... I'm just trying to make the playthrough a little bit- Oh, shit. You decided to be big. Alright. Good shit. 
To be fair, I didn't think it was Oh, leech life. Not a bad move. There we go. I do have a fairy type move, but I don't think fairy is super against it. Against oh it is actually shit, I didn't even realize. Perfect. Alright. Do I have super potion? Perfect. I'm gonna just go as far as I can. Uh, okay, we can't go farther than this. Never mind. I was like, I'm just gonna go as farther as far as I can. But it did not really work in my favor, y'all. Alright. Hyper potion. Let's go. Oh, wait. We have a trainer here. Jolteon. Switch out to Nani. That was bad on me. Bone club. And there we go. No, I don't want you to learn rage. No, I don't want you to learn rage. Keep old moves. Thank you. Alrighty. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't... Okay, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you do join that Brits for talent, make sure you check out my other channels in the description below. Make sure you check out my Twitch, my Discord, and my other social media. But besides that, we will see you guys next time. Peace out, my friends.